Welcome back everyone. I'll go ahead and show you exactly how to get a custom keyboard on your specific iPhone. So in this specific case, we're going to change our standard Apple keyboard over to Gboard, for example. So what we're going to do is we're going to make our way over to our app store, just like this. We're going to click on search and we're literally just going to go ahead and search up any other keyboard. In this specific case, like I mentioned, it's going to go ahead and be Gboard. So I already have Gboard installed. So you want to go ahead and install the specific keyboard that you want to go ahead and change to. So once you have it installed or downloaded, you want to go ahead and open it. You may have to allow a certain thing here and there. So you want to go ahead and open up that keyboard app and see what you have to enable because in every app it's a little bit different. So once you already have that thing enabled, all you really have to do is make your way over to your notes app or whatever app for that matter. You can go to Safari, you can go to iMessage and you want to open up your keyboard. So again, after you have a keyboard download and all that stuff, all you have to do now is at the very bottom left, you'll see this little globe icon. All you want to do is go ahead and hit on that little globe icon there, and you may actually see your keyboard change. Now, this is very different. You may not be used to it, but what you can do on top of that is hold down the global icon, and you will see all the keyboards that are currently available. So if you did actually go ahead and download another keyboard and it actually installed properly, you will be able to see that specific down keyboard downloaded here. So in that case, all you want to do is go ahead and click Gboard or whatever other keyboard you have, and you should be good to go. You just now change your keyboard to a custom third-party keyboard on iOS 15. Now, if you want to bring it back to your standard keyboard, you just have to hold down that you know globe icon, and you want to click on whatever English keyboard, whatever the stock iOS keyboard that you have on your device, and it'll go ahead and bring you back to exactly where you were before. So that's essentially how you do it. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would mean so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.